this EV toll has sold $500 million worth of product. So not only is this the coolest looking EV toll that I've seen at the show so far, it's also the one that's most likely gonna appear in our future. This is possibly the coolest EV toll that I've seen here at the Dubai Air Show. You see, a lot of the other EV tolls out here are sort of concepts, they're uh, works in motion, but this one is actually already sold. Yes, at the Dubai Air Show, this EV toll has sold $500 million worth of product. An order came through for Dubai to have a hundred of these flying in the sky. So not only is this the coolest looking EV toll that I've seen at the show so far, it's also the one that's most likely gonna appear in our future. But let's actually just go for a little walk around and let me show you how gorgeous the Midnight is. So the Midnight EV toll has six fans on each side and you can see that these ones along the front here actually rotate down when it goes into cruise. This means that the aircraft can have a top speed of 120 miles an hour flying around about a range of 100 miles. So you're looking at a sort of a total flight time of about 50 minutes. Now that might seem a little bit small but remember thanks to fast charging when this aircraft lands it can actually get back about 80% of its battery charge, meaning it can do 25 sectors in a single day, which sounds absolutely ideal for any business case. And also, safety is a big priority. The entire aircraft has been designed with that in mind. So there's multiple points of failure. The aircraft can fly on about slightly over half of the amount of fans working. And I'm sure there's other safety features such as a parachute that we have not yet discussed. But I also wanna talk about the design. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. We have this most incredible light here at the back where the actual tri-wings come together. And then when you come around here, you can see just the actual curvature of the, the airframe, which I think is just absolutely beautifully designed. It doesn't look ugly, and I think this has actually been the real winner, stealing thunder from even the likes of Boeing and Airbus here at the Dubai Air Show. But let's have a little bit look inside where you can see more information. All right, let's check out inside of the aircraft so you can start to see that there's actually a little LED light here for when you've booked a ticket on board the aircraft and you've got sort of uh, helicopter seating on here. Now, speaking of helicopters, I do need to point out that this is a hundred times quieter than the helicopters that you can uh, purchase for yourself. So it's easily gonna be very useful for people with neighborhoods and other sort of areas. Sitting in the actual seats themselves, they're definitely uh, light focused. This hasn't got any extra extra padding, it is leather and it is comfortable, but it's not soft, it's quite sort of a hard uh, body. But that's because weight is so critical on this aircraft. There is a cup holder, there is a charger where you can put your wireless charging, and you've got, as I said before, the straps here that come over and meet you down underneath here. The interior space in the back here, there's another two seats, does feel a little bit cramped and I think that this would be the extra legroom seat. But if you're flying on board this for, you know, approximately 30 to 40 minutes, in fact, the average trip length will probably only be in the region of 20, then that sounds uh, pretty good for me. In front of me here is the pilot seat and it looks like a fighter jet. You can see that there's multiple uh, joysticks on either side. There is windows to look out to fill in those blind spots that many helicopters have and there's a full glass cockpit with dash on the side. Now the other thing that I can't quite see myself is a luggage compartment and I imagine that it's <laughs> in the back here somewhere in the fuselage but this would not be designed for you to carry lots of luggage apart from maybe the occasional uh, small suitcase. Whether or not there's a freighter version coming uh, remains to be seen but I for one am very excited to see this aircraft in flight. 
So you're probably wondering, how did Archer secure the bag in such a big deal? Well, the trick is, is that they've designed this aircraft to actually fit the startup's use case, rather than coming up with a concept aircraft for a fantasy scenario. They've looked at the market, they've looked at the technology available, and they've gone, how can we get an actual product that goes out as quickly as possible, is as best as possible, and looks as good as possible? And it's the reason why they were able to get such a large order here at the Dubai Air Show.